All right, folks, and welcome back to another episode of West of Loathing. Uh, I think it's time now that we've uh, we've discovered the clown campsite and discovered the location of Danny's tannery, and maybe built up a little XP. I think it's time we take on the tannery. I think we're ready. We will find out soon if that is indeed the case. But we have a few tricks up our sleeve. And here we are. So this is Danny's tannery. It's an old abandoned tannery outside of town. Yeah, tanneries do stink. And let's, see, let's bump up our mysticality. There's a couple very high mysticality enemies in here. I uh, guess we'll find out what's going on. So the clowns and the cows are already fighting when we come in here. And yeah, so also the hides themselves are starting to go. So let's let's go and fight this. The clowns are on our side here first because well we're fighting the cow. Okay, muscle type skin cow. Muscle type rodeo clown. We'll see in a moment why that's important. All right. The so normal definitely want to beef up. He's pretty high muscle type, um, but we can just when we get the groups of them, we use the moo. But for now, let's just stun lock him since there's only one. Yeah, let Doc take some shots again. Alright. These clowns do a lot of damage. So, yeah. 42 muscle. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious if we. We'll, we'll see on the next round, but I'll see if damage dealt to the clown carries over. What happens is, as we'll see here in a moment, the uh, clowns. There we go, we defeated the cow. And the clown quickly turns on me. So, nope, that didn't carry over. Bummer. Alright. Well, in that case, I'll just do this the normal way. But yeah. 42. 34. It's a pretty big difference. Oh, well, we can just unlock them for now when there's just one of them, but it'll be a problem when we get to have multiple. Don't log up again. So these ones, these will get progressively harder if I recall. And we'll see. And on previous playthrough when I came through here with Gary, we, uh, we had to try it several times to make it, so. But uh, hopefully we have everything stacked, stacked in our favor right now. I'm really concerned about the mysticality because ours is so low, particularly relative to the muscle stat, but we'll find out. Alright, that's one clown down, one cow down. There you go. One clown and one cow or one cow and one clown cow down. Cow cow clown down. So we really need to get this menacing moo up before we start dealing with the larger groups because being able to reduce their muscle means that if they're muscle types which most of the clowns are uh, they won't be able to deal any damage to us after we get off a few of them so all right leather shears which we can use to make stuff out of the leather although we we probably don't want to do that for this because i believe there's a status effect associated with it um but the nails we can use well we'll see when we get to it but we can use those with a hammer so yeah, let's bump that up. So now we can drop all enemy muscle stats by six, which is incredibly powerful. Combine that with our... Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, so we got two here. And two clowns. Yep, should normal beef up. Yeah, we can get plus eight, and then we can immediately in the same turn get a group of things down by six. That provides a much more of a balance. And hopefully it will give us a substantial advantage when we get to larger groups of things. Okay. 
right now, no problem there. Yeah. This will just keep this guy. Get this guy stunned. Wow. In your face. Alright. Okay, when we get these clowns on the other side, they're gonna be pretty stacked. Take care of the cow. I wonder if you actually use dynamite to take out one of them. Now, if they would just come back in the next one. I don't want to waste a bunch of dynamite. We don't have a lot. I don't have a good supply yet. Alright, the clowns switch sides again. So, 43. 43 for both of them. They're both muscle types. Alright. Definitely beef up. And I think this one. Yeah, I think this one we should use our new. Well. Let's do our stun one. Let's just see how they do. Now nah, let's let's use the moo. That gives a huge advantage to us here. And they probably won't deal much damage at all now. Hey, So they're the same damage as I am right now. 37 muscle to my 37. Can reduce them further. And now they probably don't deal any damage. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's why it's such a powerful thing, and it's really one of the main reasons why I decided to choose Cow Puncher for the hardest hat run through. It's because of that huge group thing and how effective it is. So yeah. There's not a lot of group specialties in this game unfortunately or, or fortunately if you think about it it could be pretty overpowered there's one for the bane slinger that's pretty good okay take you down I don't even have to worry I don't even worry about it I think the next fight is when we run into the first mysticality uh, cow. I don't think it gets any harder than that. I guess we'll find out. Alright. So, uh, some more cows down, some more clowns down. Yeah, okay, so this guy in the frame is the mysticality one. So, here we go. That's, let's see, yeah, 38 there. Normal beef up. And reduce the muscle for everything. Doesn't have any effect on the mysticality frame though. Uh, other than we can deal more damage to it, but. Oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so it's a good thing that cow decided not to go for me. Um, well, I think they'll always go for the clowns first. Something like that. But, wow. That is... That's definitely stunlock, that guy. Uh, that's a lot of damage. And, oh, well, I meant to, meant to healing. Uh, hopefully it does go for the clowns first. Yeah, it does. Okay. Whew. <laughs> so that could have been... I uh, probably wouldn't have dealt, dealt enough to take us out. It was about about our level at this point, but still, wow, that is uh, that is quite the deal. Okay, let's take a look at these clowns. So are they all still 40. It's 44, so it's a little higher than before. Let's beef up. 
All right. Oh, wow. This guy's uh, 64. That will hurt if he even comes in our vicinity. So, um, well, we have a lot of dynamite. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We'll uh, dynamite him. <laughs> Just keep chucking it at him. <laughs> that's uh, that's one way to do it. Man. <laughs> okay, and now we're back to back to normal, normal town. Pull these guys down. Wow. Uh, I hope they don't have two of those clowns on the next next round. I guess we got enough. There was like six six sticks of dynamite to take him down, something like that. We got twenty three, so we can do it if we need to. I need to get more dynamite soon. Oof. It's honestly totally cheap, but I love it. It's like the the best way. As long as your speed stat's high enough that you get a chance to to use it. And we uh, we crank the speed stat all the way up. Very important for these type of type of battles. Let you get off all the stuns and everything first. Okay. Well, this was uh, not too bad. I'm um, trying to think how the next one. I don't remember the next one if it's much harder. Or is there even a next one? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Alright. And we got the tannery backdoor key. Oh boy. Here we are. We hide behind some hides. <laughs> and, uh. Hmm. Shape. Sharpening the knife on the blade on his tongue. Hmm. Interesting. So they're up against... Okay. Um, yeah. It's going to be tricky. So we got two mysticalities. Oh! Our speed stat wasn't high enough. Well then. Uh, I was going <laughs> to just dynamite down one of the uh, frames, but... Uh, Okay, so now we have an angry level of three, and our tolerance is also at three. So if we don't up that, um, this round could be over. <laughs> so now we're not in a good place. Delight. Uh, it's been a while since we've been been doing this. Is it? I think it was. Yeah, I think it's the grit stat. Yeah, there it is. Pain tolerance three. So, wow, next level is still the same. We just get an extra stomach capacity. It does bump our XP a little bit, though. Um, wow. So we actually need to level it up one more. We need 160 XP for that. Okay. Well, uh, guess more, more uh, XP farming in the next episode. Or maybe we'll go and do like a little side quest that doesn't have a high risk. Because right now, if we lose again, we, we lose the game until we get that stat up. So, yep. Uh, let's sell off some things we grabbed. Shouldn't be much. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. And we really need to get that speed stat up as well so we can not take the first hit there and have the option of, you know, using dynamite or whatever. Um, so it looks like, looks like we're already falling a little behind on that. But for now, thanks for watching.